Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCampStuff.com. Today we're going to look at some advanced notes inside SOLIDWORKS drawings, um, specifically pattern instance. This is, a, a, I think, a pretty cool example on how you can set some automation inside of your drawings. So let me just quickly show you what we're going to try to end up achieving here um, um, on this part here. We have this this part with a with a, um, a circle pattern on it, and uh, of course we got to make a two D drawings of it, um, but with this node here, uh, we can actually automate all this so whenever there is a design change, if we change the whole pattern, um, that things will update. And that's what we're going to do in, in, in this video. Um, this really, you know, it just saves you uh, a lot of time if you have to make different configurations of this part or, you know, any design changes coming down the road that you can insert this automation. And it's really not that difficult. It just takes a little bit um, up front. Let's jump into SOLIDWORKS because that's where all the fun is. Anyways. Um, so here's the part. Now just quickly, how do you create this part? I started out kind of like just with a disk profile. Uh, nothing really too too exciting about it. Um, and then I I placed a sketch. Now let me just unhide it. I placed a sketch here to, to kind of like drive my holes and I threw some dimensions on it uh, because I knew that there was going to be those different hole patterns in it. Uh, there's, you know, of course always many different ways. For example, I could have used the hole wizard here too, right? Uh, so I just threw a couple of holes in here, standard round holes, and then we patterned them, right? So that one has three, that one has a little bit more, and then we have this amount here. Now the idea is that when we go in to make a 2D drawing from this, that we can actually control that if anything changes on this in this pattern here, that the notes will update. So we don't have to you know, fight around and, and, and do, you know, all kinds of crazy things. So so let's go in and do a, a 2D drawing. So I'm going to go in and say make a drawing here. I'm just going to select the template um, and open up a drawing. And I'm just going to throw in uh, this view here. Now, one of my favorite things to use um, in here is actually the model uh, items. And this is one of the items that I'm going to be using today. So model items is a quick way to just throw um, a bunch of, of dimensions in on your on your part here, right? So I get uh, two inches of the outside, what I maybe want to keep. The only thing to know about um, uh, this model items is it might throw in a couple more dimensions that you really want. That's just how this plays. So it might be a little bit cleaned up, but it's very quick to get dimensions in, right, that you can trust and that, that drives. Now, I'm going to go in and use it again because what I what we can actually do is I want to get the pattern instance um, so I can put it inside the notes. So I'm going to go in and use it again, and you will see right here that there is actually instance uh, revolution count. So if I check that one on, it will actually um, bring those in, and they're kind of like a hiding in here in the center. So I'm just going to kind of like drag them out here. Um, outside in no specific location. Now I can actually delete uh, these here. I also wanted to control the perimeter that these holes are on. So I'm just going to insert a couple of other dimensions here. So there's going to be um, a smart dimension there. There's going to be one for the other ring. And then lastly, one for the center here. Now all these uh, right now are showing up as um, as radiuses, of course, I can just right click on them and say, you know, um, that we want to change them here. Right click and say that we I want to display them as um, as a diameter instead. So we're just going to do that display as diameter because that's actually how I want them on my node, right? Now, so I kind of like got this information. This is the information I want on my on my node. I want the diameters and then I want the instances here. So the way we can do that is we can actually go in here and open up a note. So I'm just going to create a standard note from the toolbar. I'm just going to place it over here. Um, but what we can actually do is we can just go down and click on these uh, instances. So I can click here and say instances and then I can actually start typing in holes on and then I want a diameter what's going to be the biggest diameter here. So I'm just going to click on that dimension and you'll see how that one displays. Just hit enter for a new line, just like anything else. Click on the number nine item here, holes on, and then I can click on the next one. Hit enter again for the last line, and say holes on. And just like this, we have actually now made that note that has uh, that has that intelligence on. Escape out of here. So what I'm going to do with all this here 
is I'm just gonna uh, highlight it all and if we right click we can actually just hide it <laughs> now it's gone um, it's still there but it's just hidden so now we have this nice node that we can we can place in here by the way uh, center lines um, I have automatically set center lines on and if you looked at my, my, my PowerPoint I didn't have it on there you can always you can either delete it but you just don't forget that SOLIDWORKS actually has layers in it so if you create layers you can actually create a layer that maybe is turned off and it all goes off to get to the layers you can just right click anywhere inside SOLIDWORKS and just click layers and you actually get a a dialog box up right here could actually I put the center lines on the centers uh, too through the options just don't forget that I mean, many people use uh, AutoCAD and kind of like goes away from that so now I got a nice note here and, and, and as always you should always test test things out but this really didn't take me long to do uh, but before I go ahead and test, test, test it out here 16 9 and 3 actually I would also like to be able to just as a bonus to add these numbers up so when the guy comes to look at this he can actually say how many total holes there is you can actually do that in SOLIDWORKS too it just takes a little bit of another trick so I'm going to show you that so let's go into the to the the part here and we can actually use equation equation doesn't have to be very complicated because if we go into tools and go into equations if you go over to the one that has the measurement up here you would actually see that SOLIDWORKS by default have added a lot of dimensions in here including our 3, 9 and 6. So I can add a global variable here and I'm going to call this one amount of holes and then literally in here all I now have to do is to go over and click on the, this pattern here and hit plus the 9 plus the 16th right now I have actually have those values you see that that's 28 that shows up here brilliant now I just need to get that into my note too well inside of SOLIDWORKS we can use custom properties so I can pull it in via the custom properties so let me go into file properties and in here I'm just gonna create a new property in here you might not have anything in here depending on what you're doing and uh, I'm gonna call this um, holes total. You just got to call it something else than what you call the first one. Holes total. And then when I go over and click here and I drop down, you will see here's my amount of holes sitting right here waiting for me. And now we brought that 20 in. Hit OK. That is now stored in the custom properties. Now custom properties comes right into drawings like you wouldn't believe it. So let me go into the note here. So just double click on it. So I'm kind of like opening up again. And I want it on top. So I'm just going to hit enter to move everything down here. Put my cursor here. Now check this out. I'm going to X out of this little menu. Oops, let me try that again. I'm going to X out of this little menu here. And over here to the left, you actually over here have link to properties. So now I can just click here. And I always use the, the model in view. And right here, if you look in here, we should see that we have holes total. Click OK. And now we brought that uh, 28 in there. So I can now say total. And I might choose to just highlighted here um, and uh, we could use something like underline it right this is like word and now we actually have made this note completely um, dependent on what we do in our 3d model let's test it out so if we go back in here and we for example say we're going to change the sketch let's just show that sketch there um, and we change this to 1.25 and I'm going to change this one to maybe 8 and the last, whoops, and uh, the last one in here, change this one to 0.3, right? Update it all. So now this circle pattern is, is bigger. So let's go back to the drawing. And lo and behold, this all changed in here, right? What about the count of the holes? Um, you can actually, you can go in and you can double click on going to the pattern itself. But if you never knew, the instance actually shows up right there. So we can click on here and we can just click here and we can actually change the instances right here. We don't even have to go into the property. So let's change that to 12, for example. Control Q to update it. So now we got 12 on the outer one. Let's go to the last one. That one was 16. Let's change that one to 20. Hit OK. Update that one. Go back into your part and you will now see that th that one is still 3, 12, 20. And not, not only that, our total have updated too. So really what you can do here is you can make sure that if you're going to make a bunch of different configurations, different versions of this part, 
that you don't have to worry about what really happens with your notes. Your notes are now smart. And, uh, you know, this didn't take many minutes to, to create this. And you have it now now forever. So I really hope that uh, that you found this helpful, getting this uh, this information right into your part. So that was really what I wanted to show. Um, hope you uh, you enjoyed it, and uh, hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you.